Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales, and we are here with our rogue Apple Shadow, and it is the very first day of New Leaf, and Apple Shadow has a lot to celebrate because he has survived Leaf Bear, even though he was kicked out by Thunderclan so mercilessly for his mother's accidental murder that she committed when she was a young cat, Apple Shadow has defied Thunderclan and he has stayed alive all through Leaf Bear, and now he is ready to put down some more thickets. So we are ready to continue to defend our camp. We're building a nice little wall of thickets, so hopefully we'll be able to fight off any of the intruders who may try to arrive from ThunderClan again. And I think Apple Shadow is actually feeling really cheerful. He actually came out to be much, much stronger during uh, that terrible leaf bear than he thought he may be. After all, if you end up uh, trying just to fight for nothing but straight up survival the entire winter, it makes sense that you would be either a do or die kind of survive, like a kind of cat. That's how nature works. If you can survive, you get to pass your genes on. If you can't survive, you don't. And he survived. So he was strong enough to survive that terrible, terrible winter. And now we will hopefully be able to find him some potential additions to his clan. So, oh ah, man, I really wanted that bird. So we're gonna see if Apple Shadow can find not only some delicious prey, gotcha, not only some delicious prey, but also some new members. So every single night that he goes to sleep when we have some prey on top of moss or brambles, then he should hopefully be able to wake up and find the pleasant surprise that there is a rogue cat who is there and ready to join our camp. So I'm gonna make a little pile over here because I read something that said you might wanna put the moss down next to the thickets and I'm gonna try that out but I kind of like having the central area as sort of a really fancy little prey pile and then of course our apple tree which I think apple shadow really enjoys so I do like the little story that has started to show up that because apple shadow has developed such a deep hatred that's kind of off the charts a little bit of thunder clan he may actually bump into stream lily so stream lily is the sister of the cat that apple shadow's mother killed and he may bump into stream lily of river clan and they might start having a bit of a thing. He looks like a rogue now. He doesn't smell like ThunderClan anymore because he has been away from the clan for so long. I mean, he's kind of getting it washed off of him right now with all of this rain. Oh, come on, come on, Moss. Come on, Moss. Come on. Why isn't there any more Moss? Okay, maybe we took too much from that tree. We'll go look for a new tree. All right, there we go. A nice little pile of Moss. I think he's pretty proud of his work over here. Uh, we may even have a few bird feathers. We'll put them down next to this spot where he's got his little den to keep him kind of warm. There we go. This is nice. There you go, Apple Shadow. I think he's feeling a lot more optimistic. And he's totally used to dodging away from the ThunderClan cats by now. Every now and then, I don't think he would want to attack a, a paw, but every now and then he may tell him what for. Just to remind them, Ashclaw, out you go. Come on, Ashclaw. There you go. Every now and then he'll fight them off, and thankfully he didn't kill them. I don't think he would ever want to kill them. I don't know if he could find it inside of himself, even if he really, really hated them to kill any of the ThunderClan cats. But I don't think he would have any problem chasing them away from at least these areas, which he is really starting to see as his territory. All right, and we'll continue searching around here. But I really love the idea, and I, I can't wait to see if anybody else loves the idea. So they start up some fanfics too of Apple Shadow possibly following falling for Stream Lily of River Clan. I don't know if we'll ever end up with a cat that we can try to name Stream Lily and just sort of pretend that hey 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 back off back off you lilies. We have Brook Lily and um, Stream Paw of River Clan back there. All right, back off you two. I'm gonna have to chase you off a little bit, you know. And I think he would kind of just tell, that's right, Brook Lily, shoo. I think he would kind of <laughs> chase these two away a little bit. Brook Lily, shoo, with little nips. I think he tries to be gentle with the apprentices and the other cats because he knows he's become so much stronger. But, okay, there we go. That's right, no, come on, shoo, 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 shoo. We wouldn't, I, I like the idea that he tries not to hurt them too badly, but he sees nothing wrong with defending himself anymore. So he really has become quite strong. All right, so we're gonna look for some more prey and we're gonna constantly collect up brambles. I think Apple Shadow has actually become, there's a there's an ambusher in that, uh oh. Um, this is interesting. We have snuck into a gathering without meaning to. I'm going to so carefully, very slowly back ourselves up and voila! That's kind of weird they're having a battle on the day of a gathering. 
<laughs> Maybe some of the cats are just sort of testing their strength against one another. That's what I'm gonna have to guess. Oh, there's a bunny. Come on, please. Ah, uh, yes, we got a whole bunny. Fantastic. And we'll continue looking for the thickets too. That's kind of what he's up here for. Thickets and bunnies. I guess we could gather up any mice. Yes, any mice that we stumble upon. I think he does want the goldenrod plant though, because he collects up the goldenrod plants to remind him of his mother. That was one of Rinfeather's um, legacies that she left in ThunderClan was all of the goldenrod plants that she so eagerly and obsessively collected ended up uh, leaving some seeds behind and starting a tiny little gold rod field inside of ThunderClan's camp. All right, let's go ahead and gather up that. So I just need one more bramble to make a new thicket. And Apple Shadow's just, oh, there's another feather. We'll go ahead and bury it. And we'll come back and we'll unbury the feather and add it to our bed. But I'm really excited to see when we have the very first, oh, there we go. Drink. Ah, oh, we missed it. When we'll have the very first uh, rogue addition to his camp. Yes, and there is another bramble. Fantastic. So let's see. Uh, nope. And I think Apple Shadow, I think he feels a little bit more peaceful living away from Thunderpath. I wonder if Thunderpath kind of brought out the worst in him. A lot of aggression, a lot of hostility. Whoop, let's just go ahead and ignore all of that. And I think he just kind of ignores the cats. He sees himself as above a lot of their battles. But if they're super persistent in an area that he wants to gather up resources from, he's got no problem with like shoving them aside. And he's also not very afraid whatsoever of Thunderpath. So I don't know if that's a good thing in the long run. All right, we'll go ahead and have him drink. Come on, buddy. And we'll have him eat the bunny. And I think that one of the big reasons that he's become so strong is because he doesn't have to share any of his prey. He can just eat all he wants. Oops, come on, come on. Let's go ahead and grab this. More brambles. And let's see if we can get down to... Oh, more brambles. Yes, we can have another thicket. Fantastic. And we'll try to get down to his camp. Oh, I don't think we're going to get there in time to nap. Darn it. And we really have to sleep. Nope, not going to get us today, monster. And Graystorm is still standing there. <laughs> Are you okay? Maybe Graystorm's like a little elder. Branch Heart and Mouse Pool are chasing us down, but they're not going to get us. And then back into our camp we go. Can I sleep by any chance? <gasps> I can sleep, yes. And? <gasps> you guys! You guys! It's the very first of the rogue cats! <gasps> okay, let's come talk to them. I'm so excited. Other rogue. Hey, I found this den here and I thought I'd move in. You don't mind, do you? And we can chase them off, or we could let them enter. We can change our rogue symbol. We can rename the rogue, and we can tell them which direction to face. And we can also tell them to follow us. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our rogue symbol. Um, it's a little tree symbol now. The Apple Clan. <laughs> that sounds so hopeful, considering it's very dramatic past, like where he has come from. And so I think what we can do, I'm going to drop down a couple of these thickets. So I think what we can do is we can actually come over and then we can, uh, let's see, rename the rogue. So that would be, I don't want to, I don't want to assume that this would be Stream Lily so soon. I mean, part of me would love if that was the case, but I want to save that for his potential mate. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick a random name out of my out of my head. Um, we're going to go ahead and call this rogue, because uh, it's Rain, we'll call him uh, Rain... Rain Nose? Rain Tail? Rain Tail? How about Rain Paw? No, that would be like an apprentice, and that would actually make him smaller. You can change the size of the cats through if you give them the paw or the kit suffix, I heard. All right, so let's go with, um, hmm, Rain Pelt. That sounds like a good name. So we'll go ahead and call this, this one Rain Pelt, and then we can tell them to change direction. So what if we tell you to go, like, to... <gasps> Look at that! We have... We have Rain Pelt of Apple Clan! And suddenly, from having been such a dramatic and sad beginning, Apple Shadow has so much hope! And we can actually come over here. All right, I want to tell him to follow me. Oh, look at this! And we can have Rain Pelt just follow us around! You guys, this is so cool! And then I think you can move them from the spot that they were in. And. I, I wonder if I could have them, like, go hunting with us. Let's see if we can have Rain Pelt come hunting with us. What do you think, Rain Pelt? <gasps> Rain Pelt might be able to come hunting with us. I don't know if they, they would do too much, but this would be nice just to show each new rogue around a little bit. <gasps> Rain Pelt, no! No! 
Oh my gosh, Rain Pelt! Not letting this happen! You're not going to be allowed to attack my new friend! Oh, I just killed one of them. Why does the wildlife of a cat never get any better? I can't believe he just killed a ThunderClan cat! But I guess that means that Apple Shadow has now permanently cemented his loyalty to Rain Pelt here. <gasps> okay, well, let's go ahead. We're gonna bring Rain Pelt over here. And we're gonna let Rain Pelt rest. So I think if I go ahead and talk to them again, how do I get them to like stay in a spot? I wonder. All right, what about this? And then come and tell them. How about stay? How do, how do I tell them to stop following us? Do I come over here? And oh, there we go. And then they'll just kind of lock back in place. All right, well, hopefully they'll get a little bit of rest and feel better after the night. I can't believe there, it shouldn't be cheerful, happy, happy music when we just ended up killing another one of the Thunder Clan cats. But we defended our, our new clan mate, and that is really what matters. So Rain Pelt is now here. If we find a shiny thing and put it down on the moss, then supposedly what can end up happening is we will end up with a mate and depending on what that mate looks like then I think we might name her stream Lily and if we don't make her stream Lily it will still be fun to see just in like an alternative universe what Apple Shadow and stream Lily's children would look like if they had children in Sims 3 so that'll be really fun to do too all right come on Apple Shadow come on all right finally jeez sometimes I think we've just scratched that poor tree to pieces so it takes a little while to gather up some of the moss from it but camp is starting to look a little bit better. I am pretty sad that we ended up killing another one of the ThunderClan cats. I don't think that's going to go over very well, but I wonder if that unfortunately is just the only way to win the respect of ThunderClan and tell them to back off and not mess with the new Apple Clan. And I guess that's a good way to establish yourself as a clan, to, to really, really, really cement the fact that, hey, we're here, we're not going anywhere, you can't push us around, you have to accept that there's now now a fifth clan in the forest. All right, and let's come over here. Man, I can't chase these little mice down. I wish I was better at hunting. I need to be more patient, I think. All right, come on. Up, 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 and gotcha. All right, so we're doing a little better there. And let's run up here. We make check over with the trainer. Maybe not today. I don't want to run into. Uh, oh, there we go. Mouse pool. I'm sorry. I think that I think that the cats, the other cats, potentially, since Graystorm is still just right there. I wonder why he's just frozen there. I don't want to talk to him in case it starts a fight. Ah, oh, there we go. Another thicket. Fantastic. But I actually think that the uh, oop, and let's look for some shiny things really quickly just to see. Nope, shiny things aren't over here where they often show up and spawn. Keep walking on all these branches, not used to there being. And here's the trainer again. So trainer tune, what do you say now? All right, let's actually grab the herb lore skill and we'll activate that so that we can hopefully heal some of our own clan mates. So we can use a little bit of the teeny bit of knowledge that Apple Shadow remembers from having been a medicine cat. Um, and he can use that knowledge to hopefully take care of his new clan. All right, anything else over here? Oh, what's over here? Dig it up. Oh, it's a dead mouse. All right. Well, we've got a lot of food, so we might as well start heading back. We're going to avoid the fighting as usual. And I think, I mean, normally we would feel worse about having just killed off a cat, especially a cat from ThunderClan. But I think that Apple Shadow, especially after that terrible winter that he survived, has just realized that sometimes he has to put his foot down and he has to let the, the ThunderClan cats know that they can't just push him around and nearly kill him all of the time. I mean, that's what they really tried very effectively to do during winter. And now that he has another cat in the clan to think of, I don't think he's going to just like sit there and let them mess with him like that. So let's see, can I heal? If I stand over next to this cat, or do I need to have them follow me in order to heal? All right, we'll figure out how to heal up our new clan mate, Rain Shadow, and we will go ahead and rest, and I will see you guys next time when we will have to see if we have another new cat that potentially may show up in the middle of the night, and we may even have to come up with some pretty fun names and pretty fun ranks that we could possibly give some of the cats in this clan. I'm also really looking forward to finding our shiny thing so that we will be able to have a mate of our own very much looking forward to that and we'll have to see what kind of kits the apple shadow might be able to have i think you have to just use like some of the random rogues as kits occasionally but we'll figure it out all right i'll see you guys next time Bye bye